Everything's all right at the side. What? How many? Uh, how many hold hub? Six hold hub here. Here we got. Oh, we got our own. How many? How many uh, hold hubs? Yeah, but you could. You girls gonna make a dome? Uh huh. Okay. Uh huh. I want to see it when you get finished. I'll take a picture of it. Yeah. We're making a dome. How are you doing it? <laughs> making a big round ball. Yeah. <laughs> then what do you... Cut off the bottom. You cut off the bottom from the ball? Yeah. And that makes a dome. Yeah. Uh-huh. Put it down. Yeah. Is this all? <laughs> the red is all blue. It's really great. Are you pink and yellow? There's two yellows over there. Three pinks. And you work on green. Yeah, I don't know how many we have anymore because people are taking away. We, ha we needed ten. <laughs> Fine. We shouldn't have any time. Water off the trees. It was really wet up here last night. Well, I don't think you have to come to show a point. No? No. Yeah. Uh, you, can leave, you can leave them out like that. Yeah, yeah leave us more of a... Is that not going to have to be retied after every ring yeah. is done? Yeah. yeah. There's no other way of doing it, huh? Come along with only have that much It'll be easier to tie it. Move in. I can't. I can't. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's lovely. We're going to talk about That's the way an interview ought to be carried on. Okay, why don't you start? You can okay. coat these things with mud, and there's no way yeah, to get yeah. it. Uh, one bolt. One bolt. One bolt. Well, I'm having All right, what's going on? What we're doing. What we're doing. <laughs> what we're doing today is we're putting this dome together. All the people that you see around here have spent a couple of weeks preparing, uh, prefabricating these pieces, buying the bolts, returning them, getting the right bolts, um, building a model. Yeah, picking too small a hole from the tree over there. Yeah. And, uh, clearing a site, leveling it with the bulldozer. No, you gave me too small ones. And, uh, everybody knows a lot about the whole zone. And, uh, Need a longer bolt. We'll all work together in designing it and uh, deciding how it's going to be used. This uh, is leading up to this day has been all this work you see around, yeah. and it's been a tough trip, especially since the weather devastated us and the site was a mud bath for a week before we could get operating on it. Well, Finally, it's not exactly arid right now. No, <laughs> right. But it's nice to work like this. Mud is healthy. Yes, absolutely. Yesterday My knees never felt up. so good. That was, a, that was the first trip of getting this dome raised. Getting getting the post up uh -huh. and getting it hitched to those... Getting uh, the rigging on it. Yeah. Uh -huh. We're using a new kind of rigging system, which uh, I don't know if you've caught it, but there's a come along around the other side that's attached to the rope. There's one block on top of the mast that's pulling the whole thing up. Yeah. And we have to lower the dome periodically <laughs> to retie the come along on the rope, which because the come along has only got a reach of about uh, six or seven feet. Yeah. The come along is better than using a vehicle, which is what we've done before. Uh -huh. We're trying to, to simplify the entire system down to its, its most basic form, to use the fewest tools, fewest vehicles. We have no machines operating on this uh, system. Yeah, I noticed that. I want to find out what's in the foam that you put over it. It's, it's urethane foam. Yeah. And, uh, and it's being sprayed up by a guy named Pierre Mofouad in New York City. Pierre Mofouad? Do you know him? Certainly not, but the name intrigues me. He's a he's Pierre a the cold. Guy. Pierre my cold. Ma froid. Ma it's M O F F R O I D. Oh yes. Ma, ma froid. What does that mean? I I have no idea. Well anyway, he's got a foam rig. He's been doing interiors for a year and a half, and he wants to do an exterior shell. Uh huh. And uh, he heard about what was going on up here, and said he'd bring his rig up and do all the spraying if we supplied the chemicals. Oh yeah. So this immediately changed all our plans. And what we're going to do is put up this this frame 
We're going to put up another frame, slightly smaller, right over here. And we're going to put up two inflatables down here, elliptical inflatables. One, a big one here, 45 feet long, a smaller one here, 30 feet. Well, first of them know their use, but worrying you only lose. So I said, I love you, and I love what you do. Come on, do your thing. I guess Come on over. Come on over. Talk to him. Get out of my. Send Nancy. Hi. Come on in. Come in at your dinner time. Come on in. Watch yourself. Half sour pickles. Thanks. We, uh, what are you looking for? Stuff, Derma? Harry D'Antonio. His girlfriend is uh, fraying. Potato. Who's the cook? Corn He's the cook. Oh, you're the cook? No, we have many cooks. Are there any more of these? The Do they call this a teepee? Dome. A dome. Yeah, Dome. Teepee's the teepee one over there. Teepee's down on the mountain over there. Laying Stick around down. about a half hour to be up. Oh, that's <laughs> right. Well, did, when you drove in on the road. Oh, yeah, we yeah, saw we one, saw but there was but nobody there. Is there any other place that he may be that... There's an area in Riverby where people camp out from time to time. Oh, there's another place. Oh, there is? Not here. In In Woodstock? In Riverby. This is Riverby, isn't yes. it? This is where you oh. want to be. This oh. is Riverby. Oh. Yeah. 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 You don't have to crash. Oh, yes. You can crash in. <laughs> Thanks, honey. You're very sweet. <laughs> very sweet. Hey, Gail, that reminds me. Uh, are you really <laughs> shooting that? <laughs> I'm really that's shooting that's it. A, uh, it's candid camera. That's going to. Do da, do da, do da, do da. And you're all done with the power concrete. See this hub, you're all bolted. Mm -hmm. You can unbolt the struts, take the struts out, because they're not needed. Mm -hmm. The power concrete should be strong enough itself to support the whole dome. It should support itself. And, and it's snow load and any other weight you have to put on it. So you can take out these struts. You can rip off the plywood, take out the hubs, and all you have is a ferro concrete shell that you can that you can then put insulation on the inside of. Yeah. This, this is green concrete, but yeah. you see that even even with green concrete, it's hard to pull apart. Yeah. Four days old. Yeah. This is only four days old. I'll give me another piece. Let's have your fingers. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> Now the revolutionary <laughs> thing about this I method it. is that you lay out the reinforcing with the mix. Right. So there's only one operation. When you lay out the cement mixture, yeah. it's got the reinforcing already in it. Yeah. And it eliminates the enormously laborious task no, 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 no. of laying up mesh reinforcing, uh, which is the usual method Did of doing the cement. Did you see the vibrator last night? What? like that after we designed it. Right. <laughs> 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 oh, that wine is dangerous shit. Yeah. I, I think we should do 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 It's a concrete mm -hmm. is sand and cement. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's what we'll be putting on the sides of the buildings uh -huh. and putting in wire reinforcing, just little teeny wires. And that That's called ferro-cement. Yeah. But for a foundation, it has to be uh, stronger because the whole building's resting on it, and so we put a whole lot of gravel, all that gravel in it. So it's gravel and sand and cement and water is all it is. How long is it going to take to do this, to do the, the whole... Thing of the well, the thing is, we have to pour all the cement before the frost comes, because if it freezes, that means the water in the cement freezes, yeah. and it stops the chemical reaction which hardens the cement. Yeah. 
So, hmm. um, and it takes seven days for 70% of that, that reaction to occur. Then it takes about a year for the other 30% to happen. But, um, you know, if we can, if we can get that done and let it set for a week yeah. before, um, the frost comes, then it'll be okay. But if it, but if it doesn't, uh, I mean, we just got to get it done. <laughs> My cousin has great changes coming one day you'll wake with, with.